While health screenings and temperature checks have become a new norm, they aren't foolproof. As schools restart and businesses reopen, all eyes are on asymptomatic carriers. And as Eyewitness News reporter Jaleesa Irizarry explains, there's a new test hoping to put minds at ease. In a city filled with nearly 2 million people, we've seen how quick things can move. But with a virus known to some as the silent spreader, it can be anywhere. This is something that everybody needs to be taking seriously. Which is why Amanda Berard, a healthcare clinical researcher, finds herself here. Right. In a park, right, testing for and coronavirus. And it can survive on surfaces for up to three days. Berard is part of Xenex, a company that's using a new swab test to detect the virus on surfaces. Some places it hasn't turned up at all. In some places it has turned up and what that means is they've likely had people who are asymptomatic and are shedding the virus in the area. Asymptomatic people seem to be a big concern for scientists. According to the National Academy of Sciences, roughly 50% of coronavirus cases may be spread by people not showing symptoms. So we took some tests to a place that needs to be clean, a school filled with teenage boys. So my hand is probably going to land about here. Central Catholic High School opened its doors to Xenex to test place. as a precaution. Swabs were taken from the school's secretary office, a workout room, and the basketball court. All of the activities that occur at a school, all of that is at risk if people are fearful or anxious. And so the more that we can calm those anxieties and rid of the fears, the more that we can get back to the development of young men and, and be a, a community. From there, we ventured to a downtown park and tested public seats, a table, a water fountain, and a public parking garage door. Quick swabs, Berard says anyone who gets this kit can right, easily do. Right, absolutely. And the payout? It's just an extra measure to know whether or not you've had people in your area who haven't had any symptoms. That way you can be a little bit more prepared. Once the swabbing is done, you send the kit back to the lab and you get your results in about two days. Hey Amanda, so tell me about these results. All of the samples came back not detected, which is fantastic. Um, Central Catholic is doing an amazing job of keeping their spaces clean. I was a little bit surprised that the part had nothing detected. We, we sampled some places that I, I would have expected, but that goes to show that the social distancing policies that we have in place are really, really helping to mitigate these things. If we're not spreading it in these public spaces, then we're, we're going to get back to normal. But it's really important that people continue doing these things because it is effective. Jalisa Rosari, Ken's 5 Eyewitness News.